Hello all, my first race in GT7 happens to be at Interlagos. I've started in third. So still getting used to the replay controls, so that might be a little bit different from the usual format, but we'll get there in time. So we're on hard tyres. And starting off in the E lobby. So it's all about starting from scratch again. And I didn't know what sort of drivers I was going to be up against. Anyway, not even the end of the first lap, we're in there mixing it. bumping going on there by me and, and them. The damage control in this was set to low for the race. Um, same with penalties I guess because we're all newbies. But I guess a lot of us that have come from sport and done these races will be maybe a little bit more competitive than these other guys, particularly if they are just newbies to Gran Turismo. One thirty four that got me in uh, one thirty four nine, I think, into P three. The other guys were one thirty four fives. I assume in the Lagos on sports were racing medium tyres, I think, from memory. Maybe I'm wrong, um, which might explain the time difference. Could be just we're all in an e-lobby and that's how quick we can be. Um, first time driving this car because I don't have a lot of credit so it's one that I won in getting to the sports section in GT7. Overall it wasn't too bad but so I've got to use a lot of lower gears on those tight corners. was Wombles. I think the Japanese driver Thomas was pretty quick in the black times as well. They're pretty spread out when you get to the back of the field. wagon race which is pretty slow you've probably seen that on YouTube with other streamers so I'll have to buy myself a combi and give that a go I can't remember at the moment what race C was 
So for those who haven't got GT7, you have to do the quickest way to get to the sport mode to unlock it is you need to go to the cafe and do all the tasks set by the cafe, uh, which is doing certain races in low speed cars basically and near the end you have to get your international B license I got all my international licenses up front without knowing the procedures um, once you've got that license and done a certain amount of the cafe menu books they call them that unlock sports and that's what I've just done and dived into this race to do uh, cover the races in sport mode and just sort of be jumping between both games until sport is uh, no longer. up there. But overall I think everyone was pretty um, pretty clean from what I've seen. Probably when you first new to this game you've just watched the the racing etiquette video so you are a bit more mindful maybe. Thanks for watching and hopefully the videos will get a little bit better.